Today, we'll have a look at how VR headsets started, how they are in the present, and how they might be in the future. This is the MetaQuest 3, the leading VR headset on the market. We'll have a more in-depth look at it in a minute. But before we start our 2023 VR experience, let's look a little bit at the past and how we came to this moment. It all started in 1968 with the Sword of Damocles. Back then, people were writing fiction about the 2000s and how it would bring us flying cars. But instead, we got a digital portal to a virtual reality. The Sword of Damocles was a head mount connected to a computer, displaying simple virtual wire frame shapes. But it was never developed further than a lab project. Back in 2012, a small team of developers with very big ambitions and lack of funding posted a project on Kickstarter. The project was called Oculus Rift, a modern headset well worthy of attention we've never seen before capabilities. This would only be a catalyst for the giant which we call today VR. After Meta bought Oculus and developed two successful generations of VR headsets, which entered the consumer market like Johnny Sins in a 19-year-old schoolgirl, we arrived on the present day with their current VR headset. This is how it comes in the box, the headset, the controllers and the charger. But this one has the Elite strap which is already mounted on the headset. Specs-wise, between the MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest 3, it's an improvement, of course. The MetaQuest 3 has the new Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 second generation chipset. It's tracking a display resolution of 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye, with a refresh rate of 120Hz, which is a nice improvement over the Quest 2. It also has 8GB of RAM, compared to the 6 from the previous version. If we talk about design, you don't seem to notice too much of a difference. But if you take a better look, the MetaQuest 3 is 40% slimmer. It has brand new cameras right here in the front, which allow for more accurate representation of the area you're using the Quest 3 in. About the controllers, they look better in my opinion. The tracking ring is gone and the headset supports hand tracking from launch, which doesn't work that great to be honest. Battery life, not much of an improvement. I mean, if you're using it for one hour and a bit, half of the battery is gone. However, because the performance is higher and the image quality is better, and it lasts the same as the Quest 2, it might be an improvement. If you are all about that gaming life, all the games that can be played on MetaQuest 2 can be played on MetaQuest 3 as well, of course. Most probably, in the future, the developers will take advantage of the Quest 3's better processor and mixed reality features so they can develop games specifically for Quest 3. One of the differences is the mixed reality colors pass-through. I can see the room in colors with a big screen in front of me, which I really like. Now, let's put it on. We already set it up and we're gonna go on YouTube, watch some videos, then play some games to see how it is. Okay, so we're gonna start testing the MetaQuest 3. This is what you've been waiting for. Let's go into another universe. Ooh, great. So now we're gonna watch some YouTube, some VR YouTube. Should I be one of those people and just watch my own content? I have no money. <laughs> the next best thing would have been to hire a private chef. Then I saw that I'm broke. So I We're decided too. to buy a 800 pounds electric pizza oven and bring Napa. Oh, to. here you are. Then I realized oh that I did not God. know how to make pizza. We're gonna ask ChatGBT what are the top five best pizzas. Okay, so this in is my. World. It was on my video already. Let's see what. That's is. great. Let's watch another video. We're gonna watch uh, this one because it has effects. I'm teleporting. 2008 is back, baby, with the new Beats by, by, by Apple. In this video, I'll bring back sound. Amazing. Dude, it's so fucking cool. Like, I'm literally, it's like I'm in a cinema, I'm just standing, and I have a big air fucking screen. Right here. If I look on the left, oh, it's like I'm on a platform. Ooh. Oh, the space. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe I'm getting dizzy. So, oh my god, there's no gravitation and I'm getting so dizzy. There's no gravity and I'm getting so dizzy. Like, <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, 
Okay, so what am I exploring? I'm, I'm blocked here. Can I, can I, can I grab this? Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can open this thing. No. Dash. Let's start your training. Okay. Use the training. joystick to move yourself. Oh, this is cool. Okay. That was it with this game, but uh, yeah, it's a great experience. And now I think we're done. Where's my... This was really fun. Meta has done a great job with this VR headset, but I'm not sure I can say the same about their future plans. Let's have a look. It's 2023. Meta launched the Meta Quest 3 that we just talked about. It's 2024. A new player is entering the market. Apple is introducing new features to their Vision Pro and augmented reality, enhancing the consumer's experience. It's 2028. Neuralink managed to get into the market and it is safe for people to use, which means that the VR market will take a big leap after they integrate the Neuralink technology with the headsets and they have a really big goal for 2050. Microsoft, Google and other tech giants are seriously getting into the market starting to release their own reliable VR headsets. It's 2032. Apple and Meta are releasing better and better VR headsets, making them smaller and smaller. You will be able to walk around the city with your VR headset on, not looking weird, and having your own Jarvis. Consumers are adapting more and more to this type of entertainment, being able now to be part of the movies as characters themselves. Hospitals are using them to simulate surgeries, therefore they are having a higher success rate. Mortality is dropping and the world population is rising even more. The gaming industry is developing more and more games for virtual reality. You don't need to buy clothes anymore at the shop because you can just look through your VR headset at yourself, wearing those clothes and instantly order them online. It's 2040. An enormous breakthrough happened. The VR industry managed to integrate the Neuralink features with the VR headsets. All tech giants are in a constant battle of earning their consumers' trust because right now, 30% of the population is spending at least 2-3 hours with their VR headset on. You put your headset on and you don't need to move. You are completely transported in another reality, where you just feel like you move, but you actually don't. Due to the increased number of users, everywhere there are unskippable ads, and you have to pay a subscription to get rid of them, naturally. It's 2045. The percentage of the population using VR headsets on planet Earth increased to 40%. At the moment, you can also feel what you're touching in the virtual reality. Everything starts to be extremely real and real human interaction started to decrease because there is just no need for it anymore. Due to the increased number of users and social interaction, anxiety, ADHD and depression are at unprecedentedly high levels. It's 2050. The VR experience attained its ultimate goal. You place the headset on your head and you are transported to a reality of your desire. Apart from being able to feel the objects that you touch, you can taste, smell and not be able to spot any difference between the real reality and the virtual one. A new global currency is invented, which you can earn by working in the metaverse. 60% of all people on planet Earth are using the headset about 8 hours a day. The streets have way fewer people on them. Industries like cruises, traveling and experiences are crumbling and everyone is just in another reality. Now, let's compare the MetaQuest 3 with what I just described in this hopefully science fiction scenario. In fact, let me visually represent the comparison. This is the VR headset from 2050. And this is the VR headset from 2023. Now, let's hope the best for the future. Because the rate at which technology is progressing today, if we're not careful, this might not be far from reality. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell and also tell me your thoughts about the 2050 VR. Oh, uh, and by the way, our latest two videos right here.